All right, what's good guys? Today is Wednesday evening and I just got off work and I'm just in Burnaby right now because I'm walking over to Swangard Stadium. I uh, got a really exciting game tonight with TSS Rovers with my team. Um, we're playing in the Canadian Championships this uh, evening against Valor, which is a professional team from Winnipeg. And so the Canadian Championships are like one of the most, like it's basically the most famous soccer tournament in Canada for soccer. It's like where all the pro teams are, so all the MLS teams and the CPL teams. Because my TSS team won the uh, cup final last year with League One, we qualified for the uh, tournament this year. So we're gonna play uh, tonight. Yeah, just pulling up to Swangard because that's where it's at, we're hosting, so really exciting. Ooh, it looks fresh. The Gatorade towels? Oh yeah, we're getting professional. The small details. Is the tailgate oh, cool. tailgate still going on over there? Yo, do you want to? Let's go to the pitch real quick. Is the lighting bad? No, it's kind of cool. Good. Okay, so we just played in the Canadian Championships against Valor, and we actually won 3-1, like unbelievable result. The atmosphere here at the stadium was insane, and uh, like just the crowd like kept us going the whole game. Like we could have had more goals too. It was just like an unbelievable experience. Like these are one of the games. It's like it's like a once in a lifetime thing, and uh, yeah, like we, we did it. Like we're on to the next round. I like, can't even believe I'm saving, saying that. Um, we're the first team that's not professional, first non-professional team in Canadian Championship history to beat a professional team in the Canadian Championship. So, like we're we're actually going through. The team played amazing. Every single guy that came in, like. Honestly, like lost for words, like, incredible. Like these are the games that are probably like once in a lifetime. So just gotta recover and go to the next one, but unbelievable. Like I don't even wanna go to sleep. I don't even wanna leave the stadium. Insane. All right, what's up guys? So I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the game that happened on Wednesday night in the Canadian Championships between my team, the TSS Rovers, and Valor FC uh, from the Canadian Premier League. Honestly, it was just an incredible experience, incredible night from everyone. If you guys didn't see the result, we ended up winning the game 3-1 and it was just an incredible night for everyone from players, staff, volunteers, supporters, just everyone. It was just incredible and it was definitely the coolest game that I've ever played in my career. And we also just proved that because you're not a professional team doesn't mean that you can't win so if you guys haven't seen the actual game itself I'll put highlights in the description below so you guys can check out what actually happened but essentially um, we started off the game uh, a little bit on edge uh, they had a couple of chances early um, Justin our goalie made some good saves and uh, yeah we were just kind of feeling our way into the game we were kind of like pinned back a little bit at the beginning but then we started to feel our way into the game a lot more and uh, we just started to grow with confidence I think as the game went on we started to play a little bit more and then we started to like expose some things that they weren't doing properly um, getting runs in behind and then getting guys into the box and then just kind of taking our chances when we had them so um, it stayed 0-0 until about like I think maybe like the 38th or 37th minute and then uh, there was like a high ball that came into the box and I just tried to get body position on one of their uh, defenders and just get in front of him, get goal side and then uh, I actually took a pretty decent touch out of the air um, but I fell over at the same time and I just kind of cushioned it for one of my teammates, Mateo um, and he just had the composure to put it in the part in the far corner um, and it was just like an unbelievable finish and uh, I was just ecstasy at that point like the the crowd went nuts all of us like honestly like probably couldn't believe that we were up one nothing at that point um, towards the end of the first half so uh, yeah, just like a great position to be in and just man the feeling when that went in was just unbelievable We were so happy and then it gets even better like maybe like three minutes later um, We just had like some good combination play down the right side and then uh, one of my other teammates my midfielder Kyle had a Magnificent game. He slipped me in behind and uh, yeah I just had a ton of space and then I saw uh, my other winger Ivan was running at the back post into the box So I played like an early ball across Ivan took like a great touch inside and then just smacked one off the far post and then and it, like that point two nil like the crowd was just going crazy and so were we like 2-0 up against the Canadian Premier League side these are full-time pros so I just came back from work um, like I just had a nine to five 
and uh, just came and showed up for the game. Like that's what a lot of our guys were doing too. These are students, these are guys that work. Uh, we have lives and other responsibilities away from soccer that we have to do during the day. And so just to be tuna up, it's just like, uh, just kind of reminds you of the FA Cup, those kinds of stories, you know, they are possible. If you believe um, as a team and you just work hard, like these things can happen. So we went into halftime at two nil up and that was just like an incredible feeling. Like even, I think we were celebrating like even a little bit early, like at halftime, we were just going nuts in the locker room. Like can't even believe we're in this position. But we knew that going into the second half, they were gonna come out super hard. Um, so we were gonna have to kind of weather the storm for a little bit and make sure that we were um, really tight um, for the first like 10, 15 minutes into the second half. Uh, yeah, we did that. Like just when, once we came back out, our energy did drop and our confidence stayed high. When we got 2-0 up and we're this deep in the game, we're in the second half now, like we have that confidence where we know, hey, we can play with these guys. We're not scared of them. We're not intimidated. Obviously we respect our opponent, but you know, we know our abilities too and we can play. Um, we belong here. We can, we earn the right to play and we earn the right to be here. So I think in like the 60 something minute, 65th minute maybe, um, Mateo scored his second goal of the game um, and we went up 3 nothing. and it was right in front of the Swan Guardian so we just jumped into the crowd it was just like unbelievable scenes beer going everywhere in the beer garden like just incredible and uh, yeah just ecstasy man like I can't even describe the feeling there was every reason to believe that Valor was going to come and just have a comfortable game like they were in really good form after the first game of the Canadian Premier League season um, really like fantastic players and they are a great side and yeah for the rest of the game we were still playing like even at 3-0 we didn't just kind of sit back um, and just try to defend the rest of the game. We had our moments where we uh, we were attacking and we had some more chances and we even missed a penalty. Um, we had another one that we could have put away um, and a couple other chances too. So it was just like unbelievable performance. I don't think I've played uh, with a team that's had like that strong a performance against that many odds. Uh, towards I think like the last like five minutes or like maybe like 10 minutes, um, they got a pen. So in the 87th minute, um, one of their strikers, no back, he put it away. So it was a good pen. But we actually saw the game out really well. Like it was very professional. Like, as you get older, um, you start to learn about like how to see games out and they call it game management and so a lot of our guys have experience so um, yeah we're just you know taking it to the corner winning throw-ins winning corner kicks getting the crowd behind us and just some top defending like our goalkeeper our defenders midfielders um, just did an incredible job defensively and so organized everybody was talking to each other telling each other where to go there was lots of selfless running so if guys were out of position another guy's coming in to cover right away and uh, it was just like a really cohesive performance and like I even get like goosebumps talking about it man because I'm still like even two days later three days later like just so buzzing about it just amazing and so yeah the final whistle goes and we end up winning 3-1 and just everybody goes nuts like all the fans and uh all the players and stuff we just couldn't believe it, it as amazing so i think it was just like fully earned performance and i think we really um did ourselves proud i just showed a lot of people that uh, there are players on our team and in like all of the league ones in bc and even in canada that just deserve opportunities to get looks at the next level um it's just about exposure you know making sure that people are dialed into these leagues because there are players that deserve those opportunities and uh, it's just amazing that we were able to do it on such like, a big stage. I got two assists so I'm really happy with that personally and uh, yeah we're into the next round so we play another BC team in the quarterfinals in like two or three weeks time on May 10th. We play Pacific over on the island so they're another Canadian Premier League team so it's gonna be really cool to play like a little BC Derby there. Also one of my buddies sent me something cool while I was at work uh, yesterday. He sent me that I made the Canadian Premier League uh, preliminary round team of the week um, with a couple of my teammates uh, Mateo and Kyle so that was just really cool to get like a little bit of recognition there um, from a tournament that involves like pros from multiple divisions from MLS and from the Canadian Premier League. So just like to kind of see my picture with all those guys was like pretty surreal. Um, but again, just shows, you know, like if you work hard and just kind of um, stick at it, believe in yourself and uh, don't give up. Like there's so many times I could have stopped playing at the level that I play at now just because of like time constraints and like work and everything. But you know, like I still love it. I still like enjoy playing so much. Um, that it just feels so good to uh, to kind of get rewarded and get a little bit of recognition because you don't get many of these sorts of games where you're playing in front of so many people and people are actually caring um, across the country even. So I'm just super pleased for everyone involved um, from our club because we work so hard and um, all the staff and management work so hard to, uh, to put these opportunities out for us and just to give us the best possible opportunity to showcase ourselves. So for myself personally, uh, a kid that I coach who's I think 11 or 12, um, he was able to come with his family and watch the game and just kind of see how I play um, his mentor 
score kind of. Um, and that was like a really proud moment just to kind of see him and his family after the game and see like how excited he was to, to watch his coach play. It's just back to work now, you know, like we got to uh, keep believing and uh, just see what we can do in the next round. So we just got to keep enjoying it and keep riding the wave and just uh, enjoy it while it's here because uh, yeah, these opportunities don't happen often. So I've got lots of updates from the next drop of Inner Motives coming soon. So I'm really excited about that too. I would really appreciate it if you guys liked, subscribed and uh, just made a comment on what you thought of the game if you saw the highlights. Thank you guys so much for the support as always and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.